So I have around me here a metal bunk bed. I've taken it all out of the box. It's got pieces everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this, show you some of the main points of how the assembly goes, and then show you what it looks like after it's all done as well. So I got this first end assembled. I don't have the bolts up here yet because they attach when the frames actually attach, but everything else is bolted together. I haven't tightened up the stuff yet just to make sure that things are lined up. So you want to make sure you get everything lined up and the screws in before you tighten stuff down. So now that I have both ends assembled here, next step is to attach the actual bed frame pieces here, here, and then on the matching spots up top. And then the other end will attach down on the other side. So I got the four bed frame pieces going across. You're going to make sure you get them facing the right direction. The part where the nut is going to be is going to be on the bottom of all of them with this inner tray on the inside. And then next is going to be the railings and the spans going across. So putting these on is pretty straightforward. Just going to slip them in here like that, going all the way across. And then there's a bunch of holes. And you're just going to space them where they're supposed to be, put in all the bolts for both the top and the bottom. So I got all of these attached here. I also attached the metal brace across the bottom in the middle. Now the last thing for me to do is to attach the two side rails. One on this side right here and one on that side for safety. So this bed fully assembled now you can see there's 22 slats per layer on the upper and the lower so it's going to have a nice and strong load capacity up top it can can support 300 pounds and then down on the bottom can support 400 pounds so down here underneath you've got a 10 inch gap that you can use for under bed storage or something similar so this bunk bed features a, what's going to call a twin over full. So you've got a twin size mattress up top and a full size mattress down on the bottom. So the framing is made of cold rolled steel. And then the entire thing is covered in electric st electrostatic powder coating to help make it look nice and have it be nice and durable as well. So the powder coating is also going to make it environmentally friendly. It's going to be non-toxic and pollen free. And then it's also going to help to keep a nice long finish without fading or scratching very easily. So both the guardrail and the ladder are made of round tubes, which is going to improve safety and help prevent accidental scratching. So this metal bunk bed is really nice. It was straightforward and easy to assemble. So I'd recommend this to anybody that needs to add an extra bed to their room or wants to allow for multiple people to sleep in the same room, this is a great way to do that with having a bigger bed on the bottom and a smaller bed up top.